try this one more time. So, you're creating a print on demand shot. No time like the present, right? So, I'm not sure how caught up you are, but paying attention to recent events in the 2023rd year of our Lord looks real scary. And you wouldn't guess that I have written and rewritten and re-rewritten and given up and finally wrote what should be the final draft of this video because things keep on changing. So by the time you watch this video, the content here could be old, but finish it nonetheless. So to briefly get you up to speed, loosely. Print on demand is an amazing service where you upload a design, choose some products, create a storefront, and bam, thousands of dollars just come raining down. Nah, really, it's like 300 bucks. Mm. Of course, I'm not complaining either. Instead, I'm just thankful for those who bought my designs or who even thought my designs were worth buying. It's really how I have the items priced themselves. I want my stuff affordable, so I don't currently care about the profit at the moment. <laughs> But let's talk about the specific site that I'm using, Spring. In the beginning, in 2011, it started as an idea from a few friends who originally wanted to have the ability to create shirts for a specific event that was coming up, which filled the gap that existed in the event planning and marketplace industry. After some time, they became profitable, scaled the business, and things looked great. But over the years, there were logistic issues, then profit issues, and then competition grew just as much as they did. Even better, Here's a link to Tia TX's video she did a few months ago where she covered the actual full history um, pretty well. And I learned a lot of things about their in-place systems that have gone out the window up until this recent iteration of spring that they have. So all of that occurred up until the last six months of 2022, where things got pretty weird for creators. Around July and August, creators started noticing that their payouts were taking longer than normal to process. Um, I was told that at one point it used to be like a one to two day period within your payout request that you would actually receive your payout. But now some are waiting a month before seeing any transaction history. Yet the Teespring subreddit got some traction from users I've never seen active there and people flood subreddits and communities way more when something's going wrong. It came to light that there was a financial issue, namely on the processing side, and creators in turn got the late corporate response. So many social media posts and two community blog promises later, money started showing up in people's accounts returning the subreddit to the dead six daily user community I'm used to. But it left a bad taste in many people's mouths and options for other shops definitely began peaking as an alternative. Okay, I forgot how to record on Instagram because I don't use it that little. My question was, what service do you use for your t-shirt production? Because I'm like kind of juggling the options that's out there and uh, some recent stuff that happened with Teespring kind of have me looking for additional options. And I wanted to see what you, maybe what Aaron and a few other people use if you don't use Teespring. The next day. What's up? I, uh, I left you on red, or I left you on unread because I didn't want to forget to answer. Um, I use Printful for my print on demand they cost a little bit more than the other services to my understanding, but I like the packaging more. From reviews I saw, I, I liked the way that they package things. And you can add notes to the orders and it comes out like on your um, invoice or the, in the packing slip that the person gets. So yeah, Printful is um, my favorite one. Also links very well with Squarespace. Um, I've actually had no issues with Printful outside of delays last year, but everybody had delays. So yeah, Printful and uh, actually Printful also increased the, uh, I think the shipping costs, they increased them from last year, but it wasn't by a crazy amount and I don't even sell that much anyway, but um, I, I, like, I like what I can do with Printful so far, no complaints. I haven't tried the other ones, but like I mentioned, based on the reviews, I like the presentation of Printful once it arrives to the customer. So. I've been sourcing additional reliable options for more storefronts while we see how this economic environment pans out. And hopefully we create more avenues to make us money. 
because we deserve functional, honest service. Also, another company named Amaze bought Spring, Teespring, whatever you want to call it, and may have closed a whole distribution warehouse just before the new year. So I click payout real quick and let's see where I end up next.